What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. We are finally back with the review videos, the unboxings, the hauls, the more luxury focused content since I have been vlogging for like maybe the past two months or maybe one and a half. Anyways, we are going to restart things with a review of my Hermes wallets. I'll be comparing the Burn with the Kelly Pocket Compact. You guys know the drill. We will probably be chatting, so if you want to grab a snack, go ahead and do that. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa Lenore. I do these handbag related videos, luxury fashion, hauls, but I also do vlogs, travel, home stuff. So if you're into that, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you know when I post new videos. And also feel free to check me out on Instagram where I post every single day. And I'm also on TikTok. So uh, that will all be linked down below. And we're just going to get the ball rolling. And yeah. Surprise I was able to do that intro because I haven't said it in a very long time. So these two were actually on my list, <laughs> as well as a myriad of other things that are mess. This feels very Upper East Side to me, and this feels trendy, cool, Soho, whatever. Anyways, these are the two wallets that I have in my collection. I did end up letting go of my Chanel SLGs. We are going to go into the details of the wallets and Hopefully it will help you guys if you guys have had your eye on these pieces as well. So first we will be going over the Burn Wallet. And this is in Epsom calfskin with five credit card slots, two pockets, a zipped change purse, and the gold-plated H-tab closure. The wallet is 6.9 inches long, 3.5 inches high, and 0 0.2 inches deep. I do have some things in this wallet just so that you guys can see how it looks with things inside of it. First of all, I fell in love with this color combination immediately. Again, this is a knee tube with that contrast stitching, the gold plated H hardware, and this tab that just pulls out. So sometimes this tab does get a little bit annoying to the point that I don't fully close it if I know that I am frequently taking my wallet in and out, like when I'm running errands or when I was doing my Christmas shopping, I just kind of left the tab out. But if I'm not going to be reaching for my wallet that often, then I do keep it closed. Inside the wallet, we have that zipper compartment on the left with another pocket right behind it. On the right side, there are three slots, one, two, and three. And then you have five card slots on the right side as well. So this is the wallet with a good amount of things inside of it. I wouldn't really carry anything more than this. The card slots do feel a little bit stiff, but that is something that you would want out of a wallet to make sure that your cards don't fall out. So I'm gonna take everything out just so that you guys can see what it looks like without anything inside. The wallet is just really light. And I think if you are looking for a wallet that has a lot of different compartments and you would like to stay super organized, like you want receipts on one side, cash on one side, you could even fit a checkbook on this back pocket because it is quite wide. Uh, this is an incredible piece. In case anyone was wondering about size comparison, it is pretty close to the 12 Pro Max. And if I were to remove my case, it could actually fit in this pocket. If you have the smaller iPhone, it would probably be even better because when I put my phone in here, the folds stick out a little bit. So I don't know if that's something anyone would want to do to their wallet, but in case you really just wanted to keep everything in one pocket, uh, this is absolutely amazing and could be a great wallet to bring with you when you're just running a quick errand and you don't want to carry a full purse. And now we are going to also be talking about the Kelly Pocket Compact Wallet. This compact wallet is 5.2 inches long and 3.9 inches high. This is an Epsom calfskin with a central pocket and a zipped change purse with a gold plated zip closure. It's got that signature turn lock that you see in the Kelly and Birkin bags and it is really just such a beautiful piece. Just got one pocket, so if you are looking for something a little bit more minimal compared to the Burn Wallet, this is an amazing option as well. This compact wallet actually does fit quite a bit. And you can see that Hermes detailing on the front right underneath this flap, and you can actually fit quite a bit in this wallet. This is just a good amount of cards and some cash, 
and I just place it in this back pocket over here. You can actually also fit a card in this front compartment, but because I don't want this to stretch, I just keep everything on the back end of the wallet. It isn't as organized as the burn, but if you're not carrying too much, I do think that this is an amazing piece in terms of what is available at Hermes. Both of these are amazing pieces to kind of switch back and forth from, and I love that I got them in their respective colors. The e tube kind of changes in the light, and for the compact wallet, I just really love that black and gold combination and I do really love it in this smaller piece. My only thing with this wallet is that this gets a little bit annoying. So if you're doing your Christmas shopping and you are going in and out of stores, taking your card out and whatever, you might not be closing this wallet the full way just because it's easier to open and close it when it's not. With this wallet, it does get a little bit tricky because these hardwares will just kind of sit on that side. I do really love this cute little lock on the back zip. I don't put anything in this back pocket, but it is just kind of really cute to have. Who knows if I'll ever get changed. I just Apple Pay everything at this point. Let's go over some of the questions. How does the leather compare to other luxury brand wallets? Obviously Hermes is, what are your thoughts? So when I compare it to the ones I have, well, Goyard is made out of a canvas. So this is a hand painted canvas, which is actually super, super durable. So love uh goyard if we're talking canvases compared to maybe lv i would go with goyard but if i were to compare caviar for the chanel slgs that i did have versus epsom these are these just feel so i don't know how to explain it but they feel amazing especially this one because of how it is sealed and coated at the end it just feels super sturdy and I'm not afraid to use it. With Chanel, people have talked about the puffing going down or the caviar losing its shine. They talk about how the zip ones can start to fray and pill, uh, though it shouldn't be an issue because I think if anything was really bad, I think you could bring it to Chanel. The hardware on these are also gold plated so that is just another reason why their prices are the way that they are. They're styles that I don't see too often and I really love that and I know that I'm gonna get so much more use out of these, especially as I'm going into my 30s. I've also just been seriously downsizing my collection as much as I can because there's nothing like a global pandemic that makes you realize like, oh, I'm really not using this. Do you feel like you need to baby it compared to your other wallets? I actually feel the exact opposite. I am so confident in its craftsmanship and the quality of the leathers that I, I don't. Uh, the one that I would probably have to baby the most is this Chanel one, which is lambskin, but you can already see like some threads fraying at the top. I don't know if you guys, would be able to see that but um there is a little bit of fraying at the edges yeah and this one doesn't even get used that much these are probably the ones that i feel the most confident in if i were to pick one over the other this one just because it feels a little bit more stiff this one is a little bit more soft even though it is also epsom so yeah would love to hear what other wallets you considered either hermes or other brands I was looking at Chanel for a while and then I was just, again, their price increases. I was just like, oh, you guys are annoying. So I think that's why I really started to jump ship. I've always looked at their wallets. Anytime I visited my SA, I would ask to see what they had and nothing just really did it for me. The other Hermes wallet that I was looking at was the compact version of this, but I just felt like you know, I'm getting older, I'm I'm putting coupons in here, sometimes I need to carry a checkbook, so uh, yeah, went with the long wallet uh, and my little compact one, so there we go. Other ones I considered were also the Dior the saddle one that has little pockets. There's just something about SLGs, it's just like, you're so cute, I want to buy you, and then it's just like, you wake up one day and you have so many SLGs and you're just like, I don't need all these. Is it actually worth it if you're probably just gonna get a Birkin or Kelly pre-loved? 
I would not get a Birkin or Kelly from the resale market because their prices are literally double what it costs. I've seen it at range from anywhere from like the mid teens to the 20s and that's just, well, no. I do really love vintage Chanel's because you can see styles that aren't produced anymore or the vintage classic flaps because their prices are basically half what they are in stores. Whoa, it just got really sunny. But yeah, I would want an in-store bag just because of pricing and I also don't want the bags to the point where I would be willing to shell out X amount of money. I would just rather, I feel like for me it's very, if it's meant to be, it'll be. It'll happen if I'm meant to have it, you know? So I don't want to jump through excessive hoops to do so and I don't want to spend any more money than absolutely necessary. So yeah, that's the way I would go with it. Okay, well, that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, found it super helpful. I will be linking these wallets down below in case anyone is interested. And if you have any specific questions on it, please let me know in the comments in case I didn't answer it in this video. But yeah, I will see you on Monday for the next vlog or next Thursday for whatever bag we are reviewing or talking about. I know people have asked, let's look at the community page. People were asking most used bags of 2020 and 51 people liked it. And I would love to do that video, except, you know, a lot of these bags didn't really get used. I mean, I guess I could figure it out because from the few times that I did go out, so it's a lower percentage of what when I normally leave the house. Luxury wish list, that one is there. Um, updated bag collection, top five starter luxury bags. That's also a good one. We'll see what is next Thursday's video. But as of right now, this is it. Nice seeing you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, your love and support mean the world to me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.